I have dreamt of this day since I was a little girl, and I remember having dreams wondering who I'd marry. I could never have dreamt of a more loving, hardworking, loyal, and pure man than you, and I am so blessed that you're the one standing in front of me today. When I first saw you walk into psychology class, I knew you were different from anyone else I'd ever met. I'm also a sucker for curly blonde hair and dimples, so that helped as well. Looks so good. <laughs> yes. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> wow. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carly and I have been friends since elementary school, and I'm so blessed to have a friend like that's been by my side for that long. I've seen Carly grow from a goofy kid into a beautiful, smart, amazing woman, and I'm truly, really so blessed to still be able to call you my friend after so long. But, what can make it even more perfect? Carly teaches kindergarten. I don't know if any of you have noticed, that's kind of hard to see. Taylor is also <laughs> the same size as a kindergarten. <laughs> and his handwriting is just as bad as Can you tell me that's not this to be? Oh my God, <laughs> you look so pretty. <laughs> I was a little protective of Carly, considering I put her crib on my side of the bed when she came home from the hospital. <laughs> I would jump up and almost have a heart attack if she even coughed in the middle of the night. It's hard to believe that was almost 25 years ago. From your rainbow colored jacket, high top converse, and Harry Potter style glasses, I could tell you were special. The only problem was that I was too shy to say anything to you, so I would shameless, shamelessly stare at you, hoping you wouldn't notice. Fortunately, you were extremely social and had no problem at all talking to me that one night in the library where we first officially met, and that's where the story bus begins. I read a quote once that said, marriage requires falling in love many times, but always with the same person. I know this to be true because nothing makes me more excited than that I'm headed home text I get every day when you leave work. And after more than five years of receiving that text, I still get butterflies in my stomach every time I hear your car door shut. And I know you're about to walk in with your big precious smile and say something like, baby, why are you looking so cute today? <laughs> Even though I look like an absolute potato head. <laughs> Because even on the worst days, you are my happiness, and even in the darkest of times, you are my light. May you want one another, but not out of lack. May you embrace one another, but not encircle one another. May you have happiness, and may you find it making one another happy. May you have love, and may you find it loving one another. Taylor, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Carly, you look 
beautiful tonight. And I plan on being the best looking one here, besides Carly. But for anybody else says, I still am. Before I met Taylor, Carly told me that he was like the new version of me, like super chill, laid back about everything. <laughs> Once I met him, I was like, wow, I'm flattered. He really is a super cool dude. <laughs> like to be truly beloved by another person. You're my best friend, my home, my rock, my heart, and my soul. I love you more than I could ever put into words, and I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Do we have rings to seal these vows? We hope so. I hope so. <laughs> I'd like to see them, please.